Hello, my name is Gila from Employment Source. I would like to say hello to our existing clients and welcome to those who are new to JBS Toronto. And our speakers, Francine and Asta, welcome. Thank you. Today is our third session of the expert talks that JVS is hosting. We continue to support the needs of job seekers virtually. JVS Toronto in the past seven years play a vital role in Toronto and York region, ensuring the job seekers get their potential at work employers build the workforce they need to be successful and students perform at their best programs for unemployment and underemployment individual including job seekers who've been laid off recent graduate person with disability internationally trained professional youth and etc JVS Toronto has nine locations in the Toronto area, including downtown Toronto, North York, Scarborough, York Region, and Etobicoke. Programs for unemployment and underemployment individuals, including job seekers, a recent graduate, person with disability, international trained professional, youth, and during COVID-19, we continue to support our clients province-wide with online services. Our employment experts meet with you one-on-one -on -one to determine your specific employment needs. Before you get started today, I want to make note of two of our programs. Employment Ontario and Canada InfoNet. In Employment Ontario, services include job search, job matching, job development, resume writing, LinkedIn, career exploration, financial employment support, and more. We help you to clarify the career interest, skills, and opportunity, build confidence at the job interviews, attract job offers from the employers. And Canada InfoNet is designed for internationally trained individuals relocating to Canada within the next 12 months with an approved Canadian immigrant visa. Canada Infonet will with in-depth job search preparation, online mentoring, achieving success in the workplace, in the community, and employer connections. And now a quick housekeeping. What's happening today? Uh, all participant microphone will be muted. Webinar is been recorded. Recording will be available on the JVS Toronto blog. If you have question about our programs for the or the training, you just type on a question say on the question area in a window which in your right hand side there is a window for questions QA session will be at the end of webinar my co-organizer Sylvia will post all of those questions as many as she can to the our guest speakers and please complete post webinar survey at the end we like to know how we did and learn from our sessions and we will also send a follow-up email to all participants now is the time i pass the microphone to our presenters two presenters are francine 
they both are expert and ASTA. They have years of experience in the field and are here to help you out. Please, Francine and ASTA. Thank you. Um, thank you, Dilla. Um, I hope everybody can hear me. Uh, thank you, everyone, for your time today to join this um, joint session with JVS. Um, so it's 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 been uh, it's been really um, a pleasure here to uh, to be able to do that uh, and try to help uh, as much as we can, uh, and most importantly, have a good uh, introduction of IBM um, to to you. So. Uh, I am Francine um, Cheng, as you can see on the slide, I'll be your co-presenter today. Um, as per my brief bio on this slide, I um, started in recruitment field in 2006. Uh, and yes, it's, uh, it's quite uh, a while now. I've been around for a while. I have had opportunities to recruit from entry level to um, senior roles, going to executive ones uh, while I was with the um, public sector. And um, I am currently the, um, the principal talent acquisition partner for our cybersecurity uh, division for IBM Canada. So um, my peer and friend, Asta Gaw, is also our principal talent acquisition partner uh, before the digital and IX group. So she'll have the opportunity um, to introduce uh, herself in the second segment um, of this info session. But I just wanted to quickly mention that um, she has recruited um, over seven years and in various um, countries across the globe, uh, which is um, very exciting. Next slide, please, uh, Jilla. Thank you. Jilla? Here we go. Thank you. So this is our agenda, and um, for we have several topics to cover, and, and it's quite packed. So we're going to try to um, uh, to be conscious of time. We want to be around to answer all of your questions. Um, if not, if we can't, then we'll take those questions away. Um, but um, there'll be two segments. Like I said, I'll cover the types of employment at IBM Canada, the diversity and inclusion links to our careers posting, where to find us. Um, and then um, two important topics uh, that could be of a great use to you is, you know, how do you stand out uh, in today's uh, tech market, right? And also um, uh, some tips on continuous learnings and resources that we would uh, make available um, to you. Um, my uh, peer will cover uh, more so on the, um, response of IBM to COVID-19, um, how we had to revisit um, our processes and uh, also our interview um, you know, process and steps. So she's gonna cover that, that part um, at, towards the middle of the, um, of the presentation here. Next slide, please. Okay, so these are basically um, the types of employment that um, we regularly um, recruit for. So it's it's very easy to see. It's from early professional, um, and those are really the recent grads um, uh, opportunities to professional, which are more of the senior role season. Um, you know, individuals with uh, more than five years of experience in a specific, let's say, um, area. We also have our internship co-op program um, that goes through um, the collaboration of universities and colleges and schools. And then um, also the supplemental slash contract um, uh, work. Um, so those are contractors not full-time with us, but those are other types of hires that um, we typically recruit um, uh, on a yearly basis, right? Next slide, Jilla. This is to talk about our um, 
how diverse um, we are um, as an organization uh, with more than 100 years of, of focus on, on, on diversity, right, and equality in the workplace. So this is something that is dear to us and we continue, we continue implementing new programs, new ways um, to ensure that um, every single person feel at ease to even, um, you know, knock at our door first to talk to us. Um, and then we are around to um, accommodate to the best that we can. Um, and then, you know, just, just make sure that everybody has, has a chance, has an opportunity with us. Um, very happy to say that uh, we are again um, among the Canada's best diversity employees for 2020 and the best tech workplace for diversity um, by Tech in Motion. So in this slide, there's uh, a good YouTube video. Unfortunately, we can't watch it here for some because of technical issues. We've tried it. Um, so if you would like to see the YouTube video, which is about three minutes, um, we could certainly provide that to you, um, you know, on a request basis kind of. So um, this is about diversity and I wanted to cover that. Thank you, Julia. Next slide. Um, this one is a um, um, lot of information here. So I'm going to try to make it simple for you, but this is basically where you can find our job postings, right? So on the um, right left hand side um, of your view, you'll see IBM Canada Careers um, link, and then we have an IBM Global Careers link. So as you can imagine, for um, those of you who's looking for um, job openings specific to Canada, the first link is where you would like to go. And then the global careers is, of course, uh, with opportunities across the board. Um, and then on the right hand side, next to it is our Watson um, uh, uh, candidate assistance um, AI. So this is uh, something that we're very proud of, and I will talk a little bit more about it on the next slide. So basically um, we have AI helping job seekers to get a match of, on, on opportunities and, and um, you know, on, on what we are recruiting uh, at the moment. So that's that. And of course we have also the joint, um, our talent network. This is more of a job alerts, like you, know, you, you kind of register and then you get those alerts regularly if there's something that matches your skill sets. So this is something that I would highly recommend when you send an application, look for that um, and, and have your career alert um, on. And the careers blog, uh, not sure if a lot of people know about it, but this is a good, good place to go in um, and to immerse yourself into, you know, um, the, who is an eye beamer? Uh, what, do, what do we do here? Um, just to kind of give you a true experience of somebody already inside in IBM. So that's a good way to also know about um, our culture, about the way we do things, about the trends, about um, you know, areas of, of uh, opportunities for you as well. Okay. Um, and of course, our social media presence. We are um, definitely um, uh, try to be out there. For the most part, uh, the most famous one is, you know, LinkedIn. We're all using LinkedIn, hopefully. Um, and then the Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. So those are direct links um, for you to have if you were to, um, to want to know us through social media and that those can be available to you as well. Next slide, please, Sheila. Okay, so this is our AI. So this is Watson Candidate Assistance. Um, basically what it is, is you go in, uh, in our career posting site and you have an option to, to ask Watson to help you out, uh, to basically, um, match, uh, your needs, uh, your skill sets to what we are currently, um, recruiting for, right? So, um, this is very, um, very fun to do. Uh, it's just basically you're chatting with, uh, with an AI, um, and, you know, you will get questions and answers. 
um, and then at the end of this 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 you know chat or conversation with uh, with our Watson candidate assistants, um, you should be able to either receive um, a list of few um, opportunities. Uh, if not, then you know um, you'll get back to um, to to the job career alerts where you will get um, all the jobs that have been matched by Watson to begin with. So hopefully, um, if none of you have tried that, go ahead, have fun with it. Uh, it's really, really a good, um, we're very proud of it. It's really a good tool um, for us to, and then for um, job seekers to, to go in and find um, you know, a good potential match. Next slide, Jilla. All right, so those, um, that slide is, is, is very unique. Um, this is about, uh, some of the you know uh, stuff that um, comes to my mind, right? As a recruiter, also as someone who has been you know looking for a job too, how do you stand out um, in general? Um, and then how do you stand out now in the tech market? Because from the past three years, um, on the slide here, um, you can see that there is a record growth in tech talent, right? Um, in Toronto, uh, Toronto has been the top spot for tech um, employment in Canada, about 80,000 jobs uh, between 2013 and 2018. So you know that this is hot, right? The market is hot. It will remain that way. But now how do you stand out? So um, the first little, um, you know, tip that I would say, you know, find your niche, right? Uh, incorporate it when you are either writing your resume or having a phone screen phone first phone interview with the recruiter uh, or anyone who is helping you to find a job what i mean by that is if you want to go into an example cybersecurity fields you've touched cyber a little bit in your past but not really strong um, just mention that mention it and then have it as as one of your offerings in in your resume or in your conversation too um, that's one. Uh, second is evidence your skills. Always evidence, evidence, evidence. What I mean by that is demonstrate that on your CV, on your resume. Have clear, um, perhaps examples of, of a project, of what you've done, um, how you've you've managed to um, to use that skill set into the work that you have done in the past. Um, also important is how did you acquire those skill sets. Uh, we kind of like to know that. Was it self-taught or was it uh, from a university, from a college, uh, all that kind of good stuff, right? So that's, uh, that's, that's, that, that helps to, to kind of uh, give you, put you more in a, in a highlight. The third um, little tip here um, from me to you is be innovative, be creative. Don't be afraid to share um, ideas, projects, personal stuff that you have done. Uh, put it on your resume, talk to us about it. Uh, but of course, don't go overboard. Um, still stick to the, to the line of, of, um, of opportunities that you would be looking for and the line of business that we have or any other organization that you touch um, with. Uh, but don't be afraid, right? Um, so be out there. Um, last one is uh, is a little bit different. I don't know if you've heard it before, but um, this is something that myself as as a job seeker, um, still a job seeker, right? Because you you always on the on the watch and know. So choose your recruiter wisely. Um, if you if you want to go into let's say the uh, the research, um, you know, R and D, software engineers. Um, know that your recruiter has experience um, recruiting for those openings. Um, know also about the trends, right? Because you need to you need to have that connection and you need to have that trust that um, uh, this uh, particular recruiter is also very knowledgeable, as knowledgeable as you as well, right? So, um, and and with that, I think there's also has to be a sense of um, a true uh, relationship building from day one um, that often leads to long-term um, trust uh, and mutual respect. And uh, you know, I've had um, people that I've been helping out that till this day are still connected with me, right? So we we go along the way um, from day one to 
whenever they feel like, you know, they still want a job or, or something. So that those are my four standout tips for you. And I hope that um, they are useful. Um, try it, uh, apply that, and then, you know, uh, see, see how uh, things start changing around for you. Next slide, Jila. Jilla or, or Sylvia, can you hear me? Do you hear me? Yeah, I changed yeah, this. I can. Yeah. Perfect, thank you. I see it now, sorry. Just a little bit uh, uh, delay on my end. All right, so this page okay. is about continuous learning. Thank you, Jilla. Um, this is about continuous learning and this is important uh, for those of you who may have a little bit of time on their hands right now. Um, whether it's, you know, uh, unfortunately, if you, if you're not, uh, if you don't have, um, uh, if you're not employed at the moment, or again, like if things have slowed down, uh, on your end at, at, you know, at your organization, um, this is a time to upskill yourself, right? So find time to go to, um, free training sessions, um, networking, um, you know, all, all that, um, there's plenty, plenty of resources from IBM to you. Um, there are about one, two, three, four, five that I've listed on this slide. And again, those links can be shared to you. Um, the IBM free training link is, is, has been specific to, um, to COVID-19. So if you go on there, you'll see all a list of different um, uh, areas, whether it's IBM Watson, IBM Cloud, IBM Finance. So all that you can you can have a look and then um, basically get free training uh, to update some skills. Um, on the right-hand side of the slide, I talked about seeking out a mentor, um, whether it's a family member who is in the tech industry already, a former coworker, friend, just have a chat, just, just you know, know about what's going on, um, what's the trends. Um, they, these are all networking time right now, right? Um, and, and you have to put in the effort, um, do some reading, listening, and uh, also obtain new certifications if, if you can. One important piece, I don't want to um, miss on that one, is developing non-technical skills. What I mean by that is your soft skills. Um, those are going to be um, a big, big, big uh, shift moving on uh, in the tech industry. Remember how I said that we've got a lot of uh, job openings out there, which is great, but we also have um, a lot of competition out there, right? So you have to um, start developing that soft skills. And what I mean by that is, you know, start showing now your leadership skills, and I'm not talking manager kind of leadership, uh, but how you kind of brought up your team together. How do you manage a you know, little project, little, you know, um, conflict resolution? So demonstrate that when you are going for an interview or in your resume. Uh, interpersonal skills are going to be key um, along with your um, technical skills. All right. Um, next slide, and I think this one is going to be my last one for this um, part of this uh, session, uh, Gila, and I'm going to pass it on to Asta. Um, Asta is going to be talking uh, more about, um, again, like strategies and responses to COVID-19. Um, I'll leave you the floor, Asta. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was muted. Um, thank you for unmuting me. Thank you, Francine. I uh, hope everyone is doing great. Uh, I'm here to talk about IBM talent acquisitions response to COVID-19 and how IBM has been able to pivot in these turbulent times, uh, both for our external as well as our internal clients. 
so like other organizations, you know, COVID-19 is impacting how we get work done, how we connect with one another as a community. Uh, it was therefore absolutely imperative for us to adapt and best support our clients during this time of crisis. Unlike some other organizations though, IBM has over 100 years of experience, history, strength, and stability for our employees as well as our clients. We are well positioned with our solutions to help combat COVID-19 and support our clients shift how they work and drive value. Next slide, please. So the first thing I wanted to talk about is how we have adapted when it comes to our response to external candidates, such as yourselves. IBM Talent Acquisition's strategy has been to first and foremost enhance our external communication so that we continue to act as trusted ambassadors and continue to be engaged with our external candidates, uh, providing them with timely information, whether it be you know, pertaining to what their application status is or what opportunities are available, or you know, just participating in interactive platforms such as this one. We have quickly enabled reliant models for conducting businesses during times of uncertainty and crisis, uh, and some of the practices that have been incorporated into our hiring mechanism include moving to a complete virtual interview model. And I know there are a lot of questions that my candidates generally tend to have on, you know, how to prepare themselves for a virtual interview. And I think in regards to that, the best advice that I can give you is to prepare yourselves for virtual interviews um, as you would for any other interview. You know, try your best to dress as you would for a job interview. Uh, have a glass of water and coffee ready. I have both here next to me right now, although this is not an interview. <laughs> I encourage you uh, to research the company and the role thoroughly and try and answer questions uh, as confidently as you would in if, if you were in, you know, an in-person uh, round of interview. Uh, we do encourage our candidates to keep the camera on because that just facilitates you know a better interaction overall uh, i also wanted to point out that our hiring managers are thoroughly trained on the virtual interview model because you know we completely understand that it is the need of the hour uh, our hiring managers and their teams are all aware that there may be background distractions or you know you may be uncomfortable putting your home environment on camera these issues, I want to reiterate, rest assured, will not impact any hiring decision. So if it is necessary for you to end the call early or to reschedule, our teams will be flexible to accommodate the situation. IBM has also incorporated overall flexibility to other aspects of hiring, which I wanted to highlight. So, you know, for example, when it comes to candidate start dates, we are super flexible on that. Uh, we have adopted a comprehensive virtual onboarding process. So we have been including, and uh, sorry, we have been shipping laptops to new hires residences, and we have been conducting virtual background checks, which are all of course an integral part of our hiring and onboarding process. So, IBM Talent Acquisition, I wanted to reiterate, is here to answer any and every query that our candidates may have. Uh, we have launched massive, massive social media campaigns uh, in the last two months to promote the dissemination of authentic, compassionate, and relevant information. Next slide, please. Uh, I thought it would be interesting to present to you uh, some of the tools and resources that IBM has deployed uh, internally to help its employees cope better uh, in this situation. So some of the tools that we have at our disposal include Ask Me Anything virtual meetings where employees can uh, ask the CEO questions directly. 
a huge number of daily tips, advice, and recommendations are provided on how to work safely from home. Abundant resources have been made available to support the mental and emotional well being of our employees. Uh, these include internal communities like Be Resilient at IBM, the IBM Mindfulness Video Channel, Employee Assistance Program, et cetera. And another thing that has proven to be a huge, huge, huge success, which Francine and myself participate in wholeheartedly, have been our virtual team happy hours. Next slide, please. Uh, finally, I wanted to take uh, some time to talk to you about how IBM has been responding and giving back to our communities. Uh, you know, for those fighting COVID-19, our doctors, our scientists, you know, the researchers, academics, their most effective tool against the virus is knowledge. And IBM is marshalling its resources and bringing together the right communities of experts, you know, be it our clients, the governments, scientists, researchers, developers, partners, uh, health agencies and IBMers to work together and manage through the COVID-19 outbreak with what we do best, which is applying data, knowledge, computing power and insights to solve difficult problems. Amongst other initiatives, we are working in partnership with the White House and the U.S. Department of Energy to create a consortium to bring together the best supercomputers in the world in order to accelerate research and discovery, which is needed to combat COVID-19. We continue to provide trusted information, which will help all governments and healthcare organizations make informed decisions for us all. Next slide, please. Uh, finally, <laughs> I wanted to talk about the efforts of an individual IBMer who has stepped up to ensure that the people in his communities are supported. Uh, I wanted to share with you a story about one of our own, uh, a talent acquisition sourcer on our team here in Toronto, Jason, whose beautiful face is right there on your screens. Uh, now, Jason began making masks at home with a 3D printer as a means of keeping his wife safe. His wife is an essential healthcare worker. He completely self-educated himself on 3D printing. And uh, to date, Jason has printed and distributed more than 80 masks to friends, family, as well as fellow IBMers. As of last week, he's also begun producing bottles of homemade hand sanitizer. Uh, we're, we're all just very, very proud of him. And I really, really wanted to share this inspiring story of an IBMer because, you know, we really do need uplifting stories like this, um, especially in these turbulent times. Uh, and on that bright note, I wanted to wrap up our presentation and open the floor to questions. Thank you. Hello. Um, thank you very much for that. I do have some questions from some of our audience and feel free to ask um, more at the moment. You just have to type it into the questions and I'll receive them and then I can pass them on to our presenters. Um, so sorry, my name is Sylvia. I'm with JVS. I'm just going to help facilitate a bit of the question and answers. So uh, Louisa asked, what are your most commonly available entry level positions? Um, what are the kinds of skills IBM looks for in the right candidate for these entry level positions? Hi, um, this is Francine. So since I've touched on a little bit of the types of employment, um, I, I can give you some insights here. Thanks for the question. So our early professional openings um, are basically really wide range, right? So if you are talking about the typical um, openings that we have, a big one for sure would be into the, um, you know, software developers, engineering, um, data scientists, so all that we call the labs uh, um, work, uh, and it is at 8200 um, Warden in Markham. Uh, skill sets uh, would be, you know, um, any, 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 I would say, 
education to begin with in the BCom, right? Um, any projects that you've done um, as part of, of your, your curriculum. So it is quite wide, right? So we've got different business units here. We've got some uh, which is dedicated to cloud. So if this is something um, within the line of your interest and you've done some, some work um, into that field, then, then that would be um, uh, definitely something that you would have to look into with us. We've got uh, security software groups as well. So those are more, you know, about the networking side of it, firewalls. Um, and then we also have the sales and consultants. Um, those are also very popular for entry level. So basically our entry level programs are, you know, we hire once uh, and then we moved um, our interns or co-op or early professional individuals to more professional roles and then across, um, across the board as well in different business units. So I hope that answers your questions. Um, it's very difficult, uh, a particular skill set, but um, for this time right now, I would say, um, you know, in the software dev group, uh, labs research, data scientists, consultant sales are, are quite big um, for IBM right now. All right, thank you for that, Francine. Um, hopefully that answered Louise's question. Another question we received, is uh let's see sharina asks is ibm actively hiring currently for various positions or are there any hiring freezes due to COVID 19. yeah i'm happy to take a crack at that question so um you know COVID 19 has impacted the organization on the on, on the whole just like it has every other organization um but we have continued to hire, you know, not just for uh, for our professional opportunities, but also for our external, you know, special terms uh, opportunities or our supplemental contractor opportunities. Uh, the best, you know, avenue or resource that I would like to direct you to would be the IBM Careers website. Uh, you can, you know, filter down your job search based on your location, your skill set, your experience level, and any and every opportunity that has been listed there has some hiring activity associated with it. Uh, the other resource would be our LinkedIn IBM Careers webpage, and we are going to, you know, share uh, a lot of this, uh, these useful links with uh, uh, with the organizers, uh, organizers. Pardon me after the after the session, which they can, you know, forward it off to you. But it is fairly easy to find our careers webpage uh, on the internet as well as to find our LinkedIn careers webpage. So, if um, you know all of these if you if you can register yourself for job alerts it will also send you automated responses from um based on your skill set and how you've shortlisted um or, or looked into previous jobs so yes we, we continue to hire and the best avenue for you to look into potential opportunities with ibm would be to go onto our careers webpage. thank you all right, thank you. Um, let's see. So there's another question. Are there, okay, Jonathan asks, are there any openings in non-tech positions such as HR, communications, general admin, or is it mostly, like you said, sales and consulting at the moment? Yeah, so what, what I do want to highlight is that we do get, you know, a associated with just our, our our consulting or our technology roles or you know even our research roles and it is um, justified in a lot of ways because we are doing tremendous work in 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 all of those areas but our corporate roles are also equally critical and in, and an integral part of our uh, of our fabric 
So yes, we hire for non-technical roles as well. We have um, actually a posting for a bilingual um, recruiter right now. Um, and you know, the, the process for the applications would be, uh, could, could vary a little bit uh, in terms of you know, what the hiring team is looking for. The skill set would of course be different because for technical skills, you need to have uh, a, you know, a different technical kind of background as well as a different skill set. So um, again, it's 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 important to go on that careers webpage and um, and and you know have a look at the current opportunities. But this is a very important question, and I'm glad that somebody raised this because um, I say this from a personal experience that you know I was once at a networking event where somebody was a little bit taken aback that we actually have sales opportunities because IBM just gets associated with you know technology and consulting and research. So I'm glad that you asked this question and offered us an opportunity to clarify that we do have corporate roles, we do have non-technical roles, HR, sales, marketing. Um, all of this will be advertised on our careers webpage as well. Thank you. All right. Um... Debashis asks, will both you and Francine be sharing your LinkedIn profiles? We are happy to connect with you and to, um, you know, offer our, our insights as and when it is, uh, you know, if, if you need to seek any kind of career counseling and um, you can you can look us up on, um, on, on LinkedIn and feel free to send an invite. My name is uh, slightly complicated with a lot more A's <laughs> than was needed. But yes, absolutely. Go ahead and, uh, you know, add us on LinkedIn. Uh, it depends yeah, on it. It's, uh, it's provided on the, on the slide um, at the very beginning. So feel free to, to connect with us for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, just just a reminder for all attendees, um, this this entire presentation will be available on the JVS website. After, if you missed anything or you want to go back to check some slides, you're welcome to check the video for that. Um, let's see. There's another question. Uh, Ada Kunle asks, could completing the courses on your IBM training platform help prepare potential candidates for positions in IBM? Um, I can take that one and I would say um, in a heartbeat, absolutely. Um, and plus the fact that, you know, you do have to have also the background experience as well. Um, but this is this is a plus and um, the way that you have to look at it as well is, uh, is you know, it's, it's something that you can just take on your free time at your own pace, right? So um, it is definitely, uh, I would say, for IBM uh, recruitment team is is an, an asset um, for sure. Yeah, I wanted to add something to that. So on our um, one of the links that uh, Francine covered was IBM.com, uh, you know, hyphen skills, which has an entire roster of uh, very comprehensive um, skill sets, and also IBM has partnered with Coursera uh, for uh, for the delivery of several courses and uh, professional certifications which are specifically aligned with you know in demand job roles uh, in the workforce so it's it 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 is it is definitely a great link as well as tool to kind of go into and to upskill yourself especially in this market you know where it is so important to address any skills skill um, shortage um, especially if you are looking into like emerging technologies such as data science, you know, big data, cloud computing, blockchain. Um, I know there is an there are a lot of like courses on cognitive uh, specifically, which has free access to a lot of like practical skills for um, in-demand technologies. So it's a it's it's a great platform and. And I think supplemented with your, you know, with the right academia in a technical field, as well as, as Francine highlighted, you know, with a focus on soft skills, it, uh, it will definitely make you stand out in the market. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, someone asked, uh, Pablo asked, is there any current sustainability related jobs? Um, and what they mean is specifically energy efficiency or socio environmental initiatives? Um, I, I'll, I'll address I didn't catch this question. the whole question, but okay, so after if you've heard it, go ahead. 
you. Yeah, so it's um, the way our our talent acquisition team, is, you know, manages different um, different roles and different business units. So specifically, I don't think France, Francine or myself um, manage any sustainability uh, roles per se. I'm not sure. Francine, do you have any yeah, sustainability? So, uh, so it depends. So yes, we do. And into cybersecurity, oh, um, our industry is also the oil and gas uh, industry, but we would be looking for, you know, roles such as perhaps um, into more of the consultant consulting field, um, sales as well, um, and, and not so much about, you know, the architecture side of it or, or um, you know, uh, this, the skill sets which needs in the labs area, let's say, right? So um, I think maybe we can have uh, some additional information in regards to that question because uh, I'm not sure, um, Sylvia, if you can just, uh, you know, collect um, this this um, this person's um, contact info so that we can a uh, little bit dig into it. But we definitely have um, some some positions, and this is an industry that cybersecurity we do um, hire, um, but I'm not too sure specifically of this person, this individual background and skill sets and, and whatnot, right? So um, that would be helpful. For sure. Um, just so everybody knows, if you are interested in getting more questions answered and if you um, perhaps your question isn't answered or we don't have time for it, please leave your email for me and then um, we'll manage to get in touch with you to have um, further <laughs> further information. Um, another question, Cindy asks, you talked about the Watson candidate um, and she sees that there is a trial version. What percentage do candidates get hired through this process? Um, so far, I don't have that number for you. I wish I, I, I do. Um, what we have seen is, um, so we don't, we don't, we will not collect, let's say, in the back end, right, when we see the resumes and the applications um, from it. Um, but what we do know is it does work and it does kind of um, give uh, job seekers another avenue. Uh, and those are, you know, mostly for job seekers who are not sure and not at the level of maybe speaking with the recruiter and have sent an application and kind of want to do a full level screening but those would be people just trying to see what's the market what's what 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 are the roles that IBM are looking for that um, could be a you know uh, a potential match for me um, could be passive candidates who are just looking you know out there and what's out there so um, I don't have the numbers, I don't have the success rate, but I can tell you that this is our baby. Uh, I don't know if Asta, you have some some more concrete data on your end, um, but at the end of the day, you know, this is a tool for you, right? Not so much for us. Um, and we just want um, more and more people to be aware of it and start using it um, and, and again, another avenue, um, you know, for you to to just, um, you know, be out there, stand out, and then again, like have another avenue for you to get uh, into um, into IBM, right? So, Asta, I'm just gonna defer to you and to see if you have any any specific data on this um, rather no, than this question. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't, but I, I I will have to piggyback on everything that you said, that we are strongly advocating this as a great tool and resource for our external candidates. Um, we don't have sufficient uh, data, at least between the two of us, to uh, to answer the question in terms of an exact percentage. But uh, it has definitely proved to be beneficial, and uh, the overall feedback on it has been largely positive. Okay, perfect. Um, let's see. Do you hire, uh, sorry, Sharina asks, do you hire new immigrants having international experience in IT without prior Canadian experience? Uh, new uh, immigrants as uh, in folks who are arriving on a Canadian permanent residency? 
Yeah, so I think um, the question was if if prior to, um, you know, having experience um, other than Canadian experience, as long as you mm -hmm. have the work eligibility and status, um, yep, yeah, we, we do. You will be considered. Sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's also about, um, I would say, the willingness to, to learn and to adapt to the Canadian market. That would be one of the skill set that I would be um, interested in having a conversation around. Uh, because your international market and everything does equip you with cross transferable skills so of course you know it's not uh, it's not that somebody comes here with 20 years of experience in it um, and we will not consider their candidature but it is important to also have an open mind and um, and and to you know express your interest in in uh, in being able to learn and adapt to a, a different work environment Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. Someone asks, have co uh, Jonathan asks, have co-op and internship opportunities been affected by COVID-19? Uh, the current upcoming cycle for our uh, co-op and internship opportunities is looking at a start date of September. Uh, if candidates are interested, the requisitions will be posted in the coming weeks um, we we only offer our co-ops and internship opportunities to students only so um, keep an eye on the on the website for for you know upcoming um, opportunities and the start date has been pushed back to September because of COVID-19 right and I think another um, uh, uh, addition to that is just connect with your um, uh, schools, universities to have those information. They will probably have the latest mm -hmm. uh, because it essentially it, it goes through through the schools, right? So um, just a little point um, to note yeah. here. But yeah, we're, we're definitely going to ramp up um, hiring for sure. Perfect. Um, let's see. So. Some people are wondering about if there's a, any possible openings for either banking, banking professionals or um, people who have um, experience in developing e-learning. So those are specific, I think, um, uh, job posting that, um, you know, I wish or asked, I wish we would have oversight of every single one. We are a team <laughs> of uh, perhaps 10 uh, now, uh, you know, talent acquisition partner um, having portfolios into different um, areas. So uh, I think the best thing to do is, again, if you haven't checked um, the careers website for Canada, specifically if you are looking for a job in Canada, um, the first step would be, yes, do that. Um, second, if we do hire in finance, yes, we do. Like um, Astar was saying, you know, we are, you know, a tech company, but uh, we need everyone to run a tech company, right? So from, from sales to finance, FA to um, HR. So we do hire um, into every, into every different um, areas and in industry. So I would recommend that um, you know first go on the on the career site, have the job alerts um, register for that. If uh, if there are none that are you know appearing or or in the line of your interest, um, but uh, just so that you know that as um, Asta also mentioned in the in the segment about you know how IBM is is responding to COVID nineteen and we're not the only one is we kind of um, have a little bit of a slowdown right now, um, just because we want to ensure that, you know, uh, onboarding goes smoothly, um, great candidate or new hire experience. So, right, so those may not be right away available, um, but they will be, right? So just just have again, like that, those career alerts, um, you know, and you have the chance now to remain in touch with either myself or Asta. Um, you have that opportunity to connect with us, do that, and then that's the best way, um, you know, for for you to know 
what is the current um, job opening and the status of, of really hiring um, with IBM as overall, right? So, I mean, I can only speak for my um, business unit that I oversee, which is cybersecurity. We do, we are hiring. We have a, a handful of, of critical roles that we are hiring and there will be more coming for sure into cybersecurity, but we just want to be cautious into you know, hiring right now because again of COVID-19, we still are not able to go in the office, right? Um, so I just wanted um, the audience to be aware of that. Um, Asta, if you want to maybe mention a little bit about your area, um, maybe some, some people are also thinking about, okay, so do we have any, any openings right now? Uh, we do, but, you know, um, just on a cautious basis and critical also. So. Yeah, completely agree with, uh, with all of that. And um, it's, we, I, I specifically manage the digital uh, and IX uh, business for our global business services consulting side. And um, some of the roles that I'm currently looking into are Salesforce focused, uh, you know, Salesforce technical architect uh, specifically. But um, coming back to the to the question, you know, if, if I'm hire if I'm looking to hire like a strategy consultant, let's say, and they have you know done similar portfolio of work in a in a renowned banking or financial institution, hundred percent they will be. Um, considered, uh, provided you know the, the the interview process goes well. So, as Francine said, you know, have keep an eye on the on as as we have been saying right for the past one hour. Like the best resource would be to go onto our careers webpage, and uh, that'll effectively you know um, create a match of your of your background skill set as well as your academia to the uh, to the roster of current uh, opportunities thank you okay um hopefully that answered a lot of the questions i know a lot of these um are very specific <laughs> questions that are targeted for each individual so like asa and um francine mentioned the best option they might not know all the positions available but you should definitely check out the ibm careers website and also, I believe you said on LinkedIn as well, you have some mm -hmm. hosting. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So yeah, those right. two places would probably be the best. If not, reach out to any of them on LinkedIn to see if they have a specific position available for you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if I may um, have a little request, then perhaps, you know, sending connection, just mention that um, you were part of the, you know, JVS session. Mm -hmm. um, so we can tie it back to, to that session. That for myself, I mean, you can imagine I get a lot of uh, connection requests on a daily basis that you to know and for me to remember what I have said, right? So please do that. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. Yeah. All right, thank you. Um, so we're probably just gonna wrap up the presentation now. If there's anything else you wanna add, um, feel free, but otherwise I think, I think that's it. Uh, feel free to connect with anybody or even through JVS. And um, that should be all. Great. Thank you for your time again. Thank you, um, Jula and Sylvia, um, for organizing this for us. Um, have a great afternoon. Um, Asta, I'll be in touch with you again. Um, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your time. Yeah. Take care. Take care.